Welcome to episode three in this Talking Flutes bite-sized happiness hypothesis podcast, where we explore the art of finding joy and fulfillment in life. In today's episode, we'll be briefly talking more about what happiness is and how to cultivate it in your own life. First, let's try and define happiness. Ancient philosophers like Aristotle said that it's a feeling of contentment and joy that comes from living a good life. But in modern psychology, happiness is often defined as a combination of positive emotions, satisfaction with life and a sense of meaning and purpose. It's important to note that happiness really is not the same as pleasure. Pleasure is a fleeting emotion that comes and goes, while happiness is a more enduring state of well-being. We can experience pleasure through activities like eating, watching TV or going on vacation, but rarely do those feelings carry on. They are there in the moment and then they've gone. But true happiness comes from a deeper sense of contentment and fulfilment, and where the happiness measure continues So how can we cultivate happiness in our lives? Here are just a few little tips. Number one, practice gratitude. Focusing on the things that you are grateful for can really help boost your happiness. Try keeping a gratitude journal or sharing your gratitude with loved ones. Gratitude helps us shift our focus from the negative to the positive, which can have a huge impact on our overall well-being. Be grateful for your musical talent wherever you are in your development. Be grateful for the joy you can give when performing. Be grateful of the pleasure that telling this musical story gives to your audience. Number two, cultivate positive relationships. Surrounding yourself with positive, supportive people can have a big impact on your happiness. Make an effort to strengthen your relationships and build new ones. Having close relationships with others gives us a sense of connection and support which are vitally important for our happiness and well-being. I don't need to tell you how draining it is to be around people that are, have negative energy, that are sceptical. Number three, find meaning and purpose. Having a sense of purpose or meaning in life can contribute to your overall happiness. So consider what gives your life meaning and how you can pursue those passions and goals. Having a sense of purpose can really give us a sense of direction and fulfillment which can boost our happiness. So what is your goals and passions for your music and your flute playing? Are you rehearsing? Are you practicing at the moment with a drive and enthusiasm? Or is it more of a mundane process? Because if it's as a mundane process, there is no happiness going to come from this. Nothing will bubble up. Whether it's exciting or to you more mundane, try and find enjoyment in it. Try and find purpose in it. And in trying to flip over the way you're looking at what you're practicing, you will contribute to the overall happiness and good vibes that you are experiencing. Number four, take care of yourself. Physical and mental self-care are vitally important for maintaining our happiness. Make sure you get enough sleep, exercise and nourishment and take breaks when needed. Taking care of ourselves helps us to feel good about ourselves and our lives, which in turn, and added to many other factors, can lead to an increase in happiness. Now taking breaks. How often do you practice and for how long do you practice? When do you take breaks? Do you schedule in breaks? Do you feel guilty if you're not doing hours and hours practice? The more practice you do without breaks, without giving your brain time to settle and reboot, the less happy you are going to be. So whether you practice for 10 minutes, one hour, three hours, or even longer, make sure you look after your physical and mental well-being and don't continue for the whole periods. Number five, and it's a, it's a kickback to last time, practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment can help you appreciate and enjoy life more. Try mindfulness techniques like meditation, and we are going to cover some of these in later podcasts, or simply pay attention to your breath and your surroundings as you are now. Being mindful helps us focus on the present moment and appreciate what we have rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. It's also important to remember 
that happiness is not a constant state. It's something that ebbs and flows, and really that is okay. The key is to find joy and fulfillment in the present moment and to take steps to cultivate happiness in your daily life. Try and find happiness and focus in whatever you are doing. If you're making a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, whether you're eating something, try and maintain your focus in what you are doing. How often have you eaten some food and not really tasted it? Apart from the overall feeling of being full, did you honestly enjoy it? When you take time to excite your taste buds, the happiness that exudes into your system is many, many, many times more important than just throwing it down. So take time to be present in the moment in whatever it is that you are doing. And in doing so, and in combination with many other factors, you may just begin to be surprised at the uptick in your happiness levels. But before I go, I'd like to ask you directly, what will make you happy today? Talking Flutes and Talking Flutes Extra are podcast productions by the Trevor James Flute Company. For more information, visit trevorjamesflutes.com.